What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, Pumpkin Master here, <clears throat> and today I'm going to be showing you stuff that Spear Halloween should bring back for 2016. Alright, let's go. Okay. First, we have the Haunted Animated Tree. This one, it looks kind of the similar when you build it. I'm guessing I've never put this one together yet. I'm just guessing that it's something built like this one because it goes around and around in circles but not as fast. I really wish they'd bring this into next year. Or this year it can go with quite a bit like Haunted Forest or whatever. Haunted House maybe or Graveyard. Uh, it looks pretty neat. I'd, I'd buy that completely. That's the one thing I've been waiting to get. Um, Little Nestor? Yeah, I love this guy. Um, one of my favorites. Um, he's on like a little swing here if you have never seen him, but most people have. It's pretty neat. Uh, as I said, he could go on like a tree like they did last year with the little skeleton. I didn't care for that one too much. This one I liked more. The, this one. Little Nestor. Um, just got more detail on him. Like I said for the other one, I don't know if on here or the other one. I just don't like how he was wearing like a costume. This one's like a lot better looking. Its head turns, its eyes light up. I don't like how its mouth doesn't move. Like they could have fixed that to make it smooth move, but they didn't. But you know it's still the same. So yeah, I hope they bring that one into 2016. Let's move on. Alright. Twitching clown. That one is a remake of the Screaming Banshee, but it just laughs. Like, it's got the same springs in its mouth. I've looked at it quite long. Looked at how it's built. Uh, it's built almost exactly the same. It goes around. At the bottom, it's got like a base. Like, same thing as a Screaming Banshee. Um, there's nothing too much about it. It's just like the Screaming Banshee. Um, I, no, I really don't wish they bring this into 2016. For this year's uh, Halloween. It's just a remake of the Screaming Banshee. It's just another headache waiting. The Pumpkin Guardian. It's it's one of my favorite. It's just like the... What is it? Oh, the Creepy Caretaker. He rises behind the gravestone. I like those a lot because they go with the graveyards completely. But if you walk behind... Walk by a gravestone, and all of a sudden something rises behind it, starts talking. You're me creeped out. So I wish they bring this one in. I don't like how they how they built this one, but to the other ones they built recently or a while ago. Um, like they had a different pole instead of that one little pole, but holding it up. It, it just does. I don't like that because it turns so easy. I don't know if anyone has that that problem, but I've had it. Like, it'd start rising up like this, but then the head would turn off to the side. So, yeah, if they fix it, tweak it a little bit, they could make it a lot better for 2016. So, yeah, pretty much all these except for this one I wish they bring in. Okay. This one was a fast seller. I mean, real fast. I barely had a chance to get mine, but I got it. I got to do a video on that one still. But I did get this one. I love it. It's got, got great detailing in its face. Its uh, knife moves. I think it's, yeah, its mouth moves. I'm not sure if the head moves. I can't remember. I believe it does. Uh, yes, I wish they bring that one in. Okay. Lurching Lily. That one has been since 2014. There's been quite a bit of problems with it here and there. Like, people breaking it. Like, when they go in the store, they'd hit it and smash it. So... I, bet, I think it's best to keep this one online only because it's just jumping and one little whack at it could hurt it much and I don't know if you guys but I don't like people touching my Halloween props because if they get broken you're out of luck so I don't really like to I wouldn't like people trying to whack at stuff like this uh, the Angel of Death is a not really a remake of the Cornstalker, but it's a close one. Its wings move in the back of it. Its arms, and it looks looks around. And it's got a creepy voice with it. 
I think they'd go great with like a graveyard or a crypt. That one I'm gonna hopefully they bring this year to Spirit back or I don't know if it was already back, but I hope they put it in stores this year. It's awesome. If you have guys haven't seen it, look, look watch the video. It's amazing. Some people don't watch the videos; they just look at the pictures of them. But you gotta watch the videos of them. They're awesome. The undead granny. I don't really care for too much. She doesn't look like she's going to actually do much. She just moves a little bit and holds the key uh, thing in. It's okay maybe for like a motel or a hotel for Halloween, but nothing too fancy there. Um, so probably not. Oh, Ooh, where are we going? Okay. Okay, where are we going? Okay. The misfort... Okay. The system doesn't like me. Alright, the Misfortune Teller. When I first saw this, I thought the outside of it was like cheap cardboard. But when you get it, it's actually cloth. A nice uh, thin cloth that slides right over it after. It's a pain to put it together. But after you get it together, it's worth the worth the putting it together. Because you got kids that go up to it. If you do a clown theme, I recommend this completely. Um, there are people asking me when last year if they were going to bring that back. I do wish they'd bring it back because it was awesome. A great, um, it's pretty much great for any, like, part of Halloween. You have indoors, outdoors, just bring it in at, when it's raining. Uh, yeah, so I recommend this one to hopefully come back into 2016. Um, Korak Monster, I have mine. Something happened to it so it doesn't, like, talk anymore. Oh, wait, was talk or one of them either it didn't move or talk one of them so I didn't really mess with it too much I'll have to look at it this summer um they were kept breaking down so probably not hopefully uh, I don't really reckon hope they don't bring it into 2016 I know people like it but all it is is really a pole and that little cheap cover right there with a piece of wood there and it's just a little wires here. It's not really the best built. They could have done better. But, you know, it's from Techie Toys. They they make great quality products too, but they just break a little bit more than the other props. The five... What is it? Stitch Witch Sisters? I have not personally ever heard of these, so I don't really know much about them. They don't really look too spooky. I mean, if you have them, like, in a mist, maybe, they could look spooky, but possibly not in 2016. I wouldn't really recommend that one. Maybe that's, like, maybe indoors if you're doing a haunted house, like, maybe in an attic. If you're doing, like, a haunted house. That would, that would make it pretty cool, but I don't think it really should make it into stores. I mean, it should keep online only. The Barnyard Butcher, I have one. I love it. Uh, if you haven't seen the video of it, I have it on my page. Go check that out. I have two of them, one in dark and one in light, I believe. I believe that's the one. Uh, the eyes on the head light up. The head on the Barnyard Butcher. A lot of people were asking me this year, where is the Barnyard Butcher? And I said it was online only, and they are all upset. So I hope they bring this one back because I love putting it together every year. Um, it's really, it's not cheap made, it's really good made, it's with metal polings, um, the only thing that's like plastic is the, the feet, I believe, I think that's pretty much good. Peekaboo Penny, a, pa a lot of people love this one, but when the head goes up, it hurts it a lot. So, mine I have, and it hasn't broken, thank God. Because I, I didn't use it at all last year. I had it up, set up, but I never used it. So I was, didn't want the head to pop off because some of them did in the store. Not our store, but there was like one or two. Uh, they probably were busted on the way there, but... I It's a great prop. It's care kids. Um, it's unsuspecting. It's great. I'd recommend it. Yeah, they should bring it back to 16. They could do a maybe... Oh... Um, let's see, maybe a haunted house, maybe, or maybe a uh, haunted nursery, maybe like another 
zombie baby theme. I know a lot of people like that. I gotta start mine. I haven't started any of it. I just gotta start one pretty soon. Uh, yeah, maybe a maybe a zombie nursery. The corn stalker, I love it. The one that we bought, we had to buy it online only. Sadly, we got ours about 2013 when they had the circus, the uh, train circus for Spirit, like their yeah, this clown one. But we got ours. I loved it. Nothing got damaged. It's awesome. If you don't have it yet, you should get it. I hope they bring this one back to the stores. I love putting this one together. It's big, so if you want something big, that's something you should get. Look into. The Swamp Hag, um, oh yes, I hope they do bring the Corn Soccer back, I don't know if I said that. The Swamp Hag, I am not too sure about it, I mean, it looks great, but it doesn't do too much. Like, I think that would have went perfect with last year's theme, theme with the, the, uh, Swamp Tours. I think that would have been perfect, like, on the side of it, but for some reason they didn't bring that in. I don't know why. So probably there's not too much you could do with it, but like a swamp tour is like something like that. Um, so probably no. Okay, let's the core uh, pumpkin nester. That one is very tough to decide because I know that a lot of them there can be pro they're not a lot of them, but there can be problems with it with the mouth. It's just because like there's not it's. It's just uh, the mouth doesn't move as much as it's supposed to. Well, that's what it shows on their video that they have on their page. It can move, it's supposed to move a lot more, but none of them really move that much. I don't know if it's just because I don't think there's nothing damaged in it. Because um, if you take, well, I'm not suggest don't do this, but like if the power cord, I plugged it in to see if the mouth was actually working right. I plugged it in and it went completely closed. So maybe it's just like not enough power to it. Now don't do that because I don't know. It could ruin it, but I'm just saying that that's what it, probably just a loose wire somewhere's in it. Okay, uh, so yeah, maybe that one. I like that one a lot. I don't know if you probably don't, but I like it. It was one of my favorites. Um, Pop up werewolf can. It's okay for not much, but I wouldn't really recommend this if they brought it back. I mean, they brought it down to $99. It's not one of my favorites, but we do have it. Ours was uh, uh, damaged a little bit, so like the eyes don't light up. I had to fix it two, three times because it wasn't popping up. Got a couple times, so it would stick. So probably it best to stay online only. Roaming Antique, though, I got mine right when the store opened because I knew they were going to go fast. Uh, I see a lot of people love those. They're best for nurseries and whatnot. So, yeah, they should bring that one in. I think a lot of people would be very happy. The Shotgun Blast Zombie. I know a lot of people like the shotgun, like shooting the zombie. Uh, so, maybe, yeah, sure. I, I got to still get a mine. I haven't got mine yet. So hopefully they bring that into 2016. Uh, animated Flying Witch. I haven't seen what it exactly does. Like if it's on like a pole or something. Like that ghost they had last year. I'm hoping it's not like on a post like that. And it shouldn't be. Because if you watch the video it doesn't show a pole. Um, it looks cool. So maybe that should be something they should bring in to 2016. And let's move on. I have never seen the Hover Ghost, what it looks like, but I think I've seen it, something close to it. Like, I think it's like a pole right here that makes it go up at different angles and stuff. Uh, that could be pretty cool. I like how it has the red eyes, so maybe, yeah, to bring that into 2016, because not a lot of people really have seen it. I, you can't, I don't really see too, too much of it anymore. Like, they had old stuff. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that after the video. Um, let's see. So maybe after that one. Helja Tomb, or Toad gu Gutter. Guttler. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, possibly they should bring that in. Uh, I don't like how the tombstone's made out of, like, styrofoam because you have to keep jabbing it in every year into the uh, pegs at the bottom. And one little wind gust can come up and it'll ruin it. 
So I don't really like that. So maybe if they fix, make it like cheap plastic, but not too, too cheap. Maybe. Uh, but until then, I think they should just keep it online only. Next one. Electrocution Maniac. That one is a remake of the Electrocutioner in the chair. But this one's standing. He jolts back and forth. Uh, he's pretty neat built. Uh, it's more like one of those that'll break down right off. You get it? Uh, yeah, probably. They should bring it to 2016. Uh, I liked it. I got mine. Let's keep going. Right. Animated Ripping Reaper of Souls. I got mine. It's starting to get old there. It seems like four years old, five years old now. And I got mine. Uh, if you haven't seen it, like it opens its chest and it's got eyeballs there that glow and it talks. It's pretty neat. Uh, I think it, it, I think they gotta bring something back like this. It's old styled. I don't know if you guys like old styled, but I love the old styled Spirit Halloween. They had a lot of neat ones. Um, okay, since the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about some of the old props they had. A couple of them you may have not heard of, but it was the the toxic. What is it? Oh, it was a toxic theme. The wa wasteland, wasteland. It was in 2011. I'm gonna uh, talk about the twitching zombie, Twilight Twitcher. It's it's a neat zombie. It has a base sort of like sort of like him, but instead of it jolting, it has a rounding part about right here and the tube that goes up to the top half. And it turns, it only turns so much and it moans and groans. The eyes light up. I wish they brought something like that back. That'd be pretty cool. Um, now, a lot of people like Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers. I love those characters. If they could bring those back, like Frankenstein, like those old style ones, those would be awesome. I've never got those yet. I really want one. I'd have to look on eBay or something, but they should bring that back. I think a lot of people love them. Uh, the ones we have, I've seen before, was sold quickly. Um, yeah, those are pretty neat. I'll try to look up a, vi a video and I'll try to, or I'll try to look up a picture of it later on. I'll show you guys what it, they may have looked like. I, I know what they looked like. I try to find a picture of them. So yeah, that's going to be it. Like I said yesterday. If you guys have any reviews you want me to do of specific props, I'll leave it in the comment section below, and I will be watch looking for them. And I may be doing a Q&A, so leave any comments or questions, and I will be answering them. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.